Thank you so much, Namita Ji and Jaipur Literary Festival for giving me this opportunity to be here today. I am Shalaka Kulkarni and I will be talking about my first book, Orinda. Orinda is a collection of 52 stories based in modern India. Genre would be flash fiction. For me, this book is a gallery. It is a gallery of local Indian markets, gajras and peppermints. It serves made good ad and addresses on a dinner plate. There are earrings on soft boards and Marlboros on the college canteen floor. It has gongroos stuck in Christmas wreaths and embroidery hoops stuck in rusty buses. It echoes the walls of a boho apartment and art classes in kaleidoscopic brothels. This is a gallery of the supernatural, divine, extraordinary and inherent, the part within us and all living beings. Of delivery executive Manju, architect Gargi, Professor Miller, Vagabond Bilva, security guard Amar Chacha and Amteen. This is Orenda, this is us. And now I will be reading the first story from the book which is dedicated to my late grandparents. It's called Parmaish. Parmaish is a request or demand in Hindi. All India Radio has a program called Aapki Farmaish where people used to share song, dedications and requests. We lived with my grandparents till I was four in the heart of India's orange city, Nagpur. My dadu was a retired Marathi literature enthusiast and dadi was really looking forward to spending quality time with him. He had a transferable job and he chose to hop cities alone. They built a house, Anand raised three boys and gave birth to resplendent memories. Dadi used to manage the house and errands all by herself. Bank visits, family weddings, groceries, homework and much more. One woman armies ran in my family, huh? With a thousand responsibilities on her shoulders, Saathi Haath Badhana became her favorite song since 1957. It's from the movie Nayador featuring Dilip Kumar and Vajanti Mala. Dadu's love and support was expressed mostly through timely demand drafts, yearly saris and home-cooked thali fits. It's a typical Maharashtra dish. After his retirement, they sat next to each other in two grain wooden chairs, reading newspapers, doing crosswords and listening to all India radio all day long. Dadu had written a parmaish to the centre to play her favourite song. She giggled, held his hand and her eyes blushed like cherry dimples when she heard her name on air. It's been eight years since she left us. Today, Dadu sits alone with a newspaper stack next to him. He has bought a brand new handy recorder with a USB port. I haven't taught him how to play songs on repeat yet, but whenever, whenever the device hums Saathi Haath Badhana, he holds his heart first and the chairs um, rest next. I hope the stories in Orinda fetch the warmest of smiles in your eyes. Orinda is available across all leading e-commerce platforms and I request you to grab your copy today.